So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you. So hi everyone. Today I will be talking about a very interesting generative AI framework that is Creo AI, which is a multi-agent conversational framework. So what do we mean by a multi-agent framework? In such a framework, we can create a number of agents depending upon our problem statement. Like for example, an agent can be a product manager. Other agent can be a tech content writer. The third person can be a, a great with engineering. And eventually then we will be giving a task to these collection of agents. And then they having conversation within themselves would be coming out with the final solution. So this is how it, it can be taken as a virtual team for which uh, you are giving a task and eventually they are coming up with the solutions on their own. So Creo AI is a very exciting package. I was recently working with it and the results are pretty good. So let's get started. So first of all, are you talking about the different components of Creo AI? One is agent where you give the what role that particular agent would be playing, uh, the goal of that agent and his backstory if it is required. Task would define which ta what task you want to have. Crew would be a collection of agents and tasks and process we will be discussing a little late. So let's get started. First of all, you need to pip install Crew AI. Uh, once you're done with that. So in this case, I'm using a Hugging Face Hub API for loading the LLM. The um, LLM that I'm using is Gemma 2 billion model. As you can see here, just for demonstration purpose, I've removed my to API token. But if you have an open API key, that would be great. This works even with Olama as well so that I will be demonstrating later. So here you can see that I have loaded my LLM object. The rest of the code is quite easy to understand. So we will be creating the different agents we want to have to solve the problem. The first agent that I'm calling out is a senior research analyst. As you can see, there are a few things that you need to mention. Role, the goal of the agent, his backstory, verbose, allow delegation, I will be talking a little late, which is related to the process and the LLM that you're providing. So here I have created an agent that is researcher and the second agent that is a tech content strategist right here you can see that the goal is to compel uh, to write compelling content on tech advancements you are a renowned content strategist and again i'm providing with the llm and allow delegation equals to false so uh, basically the uh, the entire flow in create can follow two things uh, can follow two approaches one is a sequential approach where you give a pro uh, problem statement and eventually the agents would be giving their inputs one by one. So if for example, as I will be showing you, I'm creating a task list down major ML algorithms, expected output is full analysis report in short bullet points and agent equals to researcher. So this particular task is assigned to the first agent researcher. And then the second task that I'm creating is using the insights provided from the first task, develop an engaging blog that highlights the most significant ML algorithms and write a full blog post. So basically in the first task, I would be getting short bullet points and in the second task, I'm expecting a full blog post that would be expanded on the short bullet points for which I'm hiring the second agent that is a writer. So in case of, as I told you, there are two approaches in Creo AI that is sequential and hierarchical. In case of sequential, uh, we would be assigning one task to each of the agent. If you, and eventually the subsequent agent, the second task, the agent in the second task can use the insights from the first task. So basically the output of the first task can be used as a context in the second task. And likewise, if you move ahead and if you go to the third task, the output from the first and second task can be used in the third task. So there's a sequential approach. The other is a hierarchical approach where what you can do, you won't be mentioning uh, different tasks. You would be mentioning a single task and eventually uh, you would be making this particular flag allow delegation equals to true. So by allowing delegation, we mean that this particular agent can hire the other agents present to get the task done. So for example, if it would have been allowed delegation equals to false and process would have been hierarchical. In that case, this particular agent could have delegated a task of writing the content strategy uh, of the writing a blog post to senior research analyst to get me the bullet point for the blog. So eventually it would be like a entire company scene where uh, the product manager is talking to the developer, providing them with tasks. Eventually the tech lead is asking the developer to develop something and eventually delegation can happen. But in this particular example, we are following a sequential approach 
where a task would be done by one person and it, he can't dele uh, delegate it to the other agents. So here you can see that we have defined two agents. We have defined two separate tasks and in the second task, uh, we would be taking the output from the first task that is the short bullet points to expand onto the block. Now we are finally instantiating a crew. The crew would consist of the agents, the searcher and writer, task, task one and two and the verbose. And then finally we would be calling out crew.kickoff. So if you look into the output that we have got, it's very interesting. So once you see the first a task that we have got is list down major ML algorithms, as we mentioned here, list down major ML algorithms. And the working agent is senior research analyst. So eventually you can see how the prompts looks like internally. And uh, going through a, a, a back and forth process, Eventually, the research content, uh, the, research, the senior research analyst has come up with these points. Finish chain. Supervised learning algorithms, unsupervised learning algorithms, and reinforcement learning algorithms. Three pointers, and it has mentioned some algorithms within it. In these particular domains, these are the algorithms used. Now, the tech content strategist would be using this input, supervised and supervised reinforcement learning pointers, to expand onto the final blog post. And here you can see that the entire thought process that is going behind the scenes that is not visible to us. Now, eventually, if you look into the final output that has come up, unveiling the mysteries of machine learning algorithms, as you can see, it is able to give uh, the title to the blog. It has written an uh, introduction, then expanded onto the pointers given. And this is how the final output looks like. So here you can see that how Creo AI can be so good with complex tasks and where you can have uh, eventually have a virtual team you don't need to hire anyone just be good with prompting and the rest of the things would be taken care by creo ai this was a very very uh, easy task that i assigned but eventually in the coming examples that i would be showing with olama i will be showing you how an entire product design and technicalities discussion and finally the final structure can be uh, can come out using Three way using a combination of multiple agents. Thank you so much.